All right, I'm gonna run the numbers now just so you guys can know exactly how much I made or lost. I'm going to start a dropshipping store in front of your guys' eyeballs. Start with the ads, the Shopify store, scaling up and everything, or I'm gonna try to do all that stuff. But essentially what happened is I was scrolling on TikTok and I found a cool product. It's these little Dino Nugget plush toys. I want to dropship it and I wanna make money with it. And I figured may as well make a video showcasing how I would start a dropshipping store. So I need to get on the website, creating the logo, creating the product page, a good offer for the product, and then getting creatives and then launching ads. So let's start cooking up a Dino Nugget dropshipping store. Now, when you're first starting your store, I'm gonna say this because I'm doing this actively. You want to go on godaddy.com and just start typing in domains that you would like to use. So what I'm doing is just plugging in Dino Nuggets, Dino Nuggies, Dino Nugs with a Z to try and find a cool domain that I can use. After you find a good domain, we'll set up a Gmail account and then we'll start our Shopify store. So I typed in a few different ones and dinosnuggies.com is actually available. I figure that's kind of better because you can snuggle with the pillow. So we're gonna do it like that angle. And then I will We'll update you guys as I start building out the store, adding apps, getting everything perfected and ready to go for paid ads because that's where the real money is made. All right, it's now around 8.49 p.m. tonight. I got a little bit distracted, not going to lie, but what I'm going to do is screen record myself building out the Shopify store. I want the core value of this video to be showing how to create a good product page and then how to run ads properly and if stuff goes well, how to scale. I will show you the end result of the store. I'll show you how I built out the landing page and all that stuff, how I built out the offer, how I created it and thought of it when creating an irresistible offer because that is one of the keys that we focus on. We built a whole module in our paid program for it. That's why we did it. It's because it changes the game. If you have an amazing product but not a good offer, you won't make money. And I will show you guys the final product when it's all complete. All right, the Shopify store is coming along well. I have the homepage almost done, the product page. I used the app K-O-P-Y copy to basically just grab another Shopify store's landing page and then copy it onto my store. I actually changed the description up so that way it's my own and I added my own name on the whole store and a new logo. So I did all that stuff. That's all good to go, but we had issues with the theme. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is go onto my phone, start pulling some creatives and we're going to try and figure out what we're going to use for ads. I'm again doing this so that way I can prove to you guys that it's not actually too difficult to drop ship. So I'll update you guys when I have have some good videos that I can use for ads. All right, so pretty much all I've done is I searched up Dino Nugget Pillows and I've found enough videos to use for ads. So I'm gonna edit them up because they don't look perfect by any means. All right, I'm no expert video editor, but I will show you guys the videos I edited. This is going to be the first one. That was the first one. Let's show you the second one. There are three, by the way. Only giving teddy bear raw, frozen, undercooked, but I love her, and I think Ella will love her too. And then I got one more made. Again, very simple editing. I just added some text and clipped out BS. I'll probably run a little bit later, but I'm going to grind out the website, finish it up, and then get started with setting up some basic ass ads. I want to get to bed at an early time, so I'm going to grind this out, and I will update you guys when the stuff is done. All right, took a little bit more time than I thought it was going to take, but it's now 10.23 p.m., and the store's done pretty much. I didn't do reviews. There's not really reviews online for this product. Product, so I'm going to go as is. I might throw like a little fake review on the bottom or two fake reviews on the bottom, which I'll show you what I'm gonna do. All right, so what I mean is I'm gonna add one of these. Just an image with text right here. Boom, probably add a photo and then add someone's name or add like a quote or something and then just say some sort of review -y style text. And so I'll do two of those, load those up with some text and a photo and that's it. The website will be done. I do still need to launch ads. So I'm gonna set up ads after that. And that will pretty much be it for the store. It'll be ready to go, ready to collect orders. And then we will hope for the best for tomorrow, which is Saturday. So I'll show you what I will do in the ad account, but for now we need to finish up this website. I know I've said that a lot, so I'm gonna quickly finish it and then we will get rolling on ads. All right, store's done. Original Dino Nugget, uh, Nuggy pillow, best pillow ever, too cute. Get your Dino now, get yours now. I wanted to switch up the text on the buttons just in case buy it now didn't hit. 
right, I would swap it and then get yours now. If that doesn't hit right, get your dyno now may hit right. I also added Sticky Cart by Uplinkly, which is a app that you can add. It's free to use, so I use it on most of my stores, but it basically, for example, on mobile, it shows the add to cart above fold. That way they don't need to scroll down at all to click the add to cart. So that's why I use the app. But now I'm gonna set up TikTok ads. This is where the fun stuff starts, where we start to potentially generate sales. So I'm gonna start doing that and I'll show you guys the exact ad structure I'm gonna use. But first I actually need to airdrop myself all of these videos I just made for this creative or for the ad. So oh. don't you guys just love drop shipping? I love it so much. I was trying to set up ads and my TikTok accounts just got banned for no reason. They both just got suspended. I tried to create two different ad accounts and I named them some random shit. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow and I'm gonna give access to this store to my business partner and I'm gonna have him set up ads on one of his accounts and then we're gonna run with this store like that because it's a little bit late and I have some ways to actually do different things to get ad accounts up and live and running, but it will take me another half an hour to make sure I'm all dialed in like that. So I'm just gonna do it in the morning because it's already 1036, but it only took me a few hours to get all this stuff set up. And there's something that I've been working on that'll speed this process up. It's a software we've been building that can instantly build a store. If you have a product that you want to sell, or if you don't know what to sell, it'll instantly build it. But that will save me a lot of time because I won't have to do this BS and it'll save you guys a lot of time in the future. So just keep that in mind, but I'll update you guys in the morning once we get ads up. All right, it is now the morning after and I have a new ad account. So basically, like I told you guys last night, pretty much my ad account randomly got suspended and that happens for whatever reason. So what I did is I texted my business partner, Tim, and said, yo, can I join on one of your ad accounts and just run the store up on your ad account? He's sharing it with me and then what I'm gonna do is I threw on a VPN in the United States on my computer because I'm wondering if it's something in regards to my computer. And then he invited me to it. So now I will basically just accept that invitation, get my card on this account, and then start running ads. All right, I was able to get an ad account up and running after a little bit of difficulty, but nonetheless, we got it set up. Now it's time for the fun stuff. So what I'm gonna do is set up a basic testing campaign to essentially get spend in this ad account to see if I can generate sales. So what we're going to be doing is just doing website conversions. We will title this Dino Test 1, and it's going to be a campaign budget optimization. We will do a $50 a day CBO. So we're gonna run it like that, continue, and we're gonna make these some very basic ads. So let's do Pixel. I almost actually forgot. I did forget I need to set up the TikTok ad account on our Shopify store, so I'm gonna do that and then we'll keep going with the ads. All right, for this ad setup, what we're going to do, TikTok pixel, set all that up. We're gonna do select placement, TikTok user can comment, no downloads, no video sharing. And then all we're going to do is just do custom targeting, but it's not going to be any targeting our budgets, it's all through a CBO. And so that's all good to go. What we're going to do is we will just let these ads run. Um, let's make sure they are running right now. So let's just do 930 and get it all set up. Okay, okay. That should be good to go. And then we're going to hit next and get this ad running. Be sure to also turn on automated creative optimization. We're gonna use that in the ad section. So essentially what we're going to do is just add our few videos in here and then add some different text and call it a day. For the captions, we're going to do get your pillow today, get your dino pillow. Now, I'm not too good at selling pillows, so we're just going to call that a day. There's four pieces of text, and then we'll upload a few different videos. And then we'll click upload, have these videos upload, and that will pretty much be it on this side of things. The only other thing I need to do is just grab the domain or the URL for the product page. So I'm gonna click shop now on my website, and then just grab this little domain, this little URL. That way we can throw it onto our ads so that TikTok knows where to send the people to actually buy our product. For call to action, I'm going to edit these and view selected. We'll leave those, those are fun. All right, all we're going to do, click submit, and then I'm gonna duplicate the ad group four times, totaling out to five different ad groups in CBO, making that good to go for testing this product out. So let's go back to the campaign. Let's duplicate this ad group which will be right here. And then I'm gonna click copy, copy this a total of four times, meaning that there are gonna be a five ad groups total. We'll keep all of this stuff the same. The only thing we need to make sure of is that, yep, 
the time you need to make sure it goes back to whatever time you had set it to run for. So we're gonna do 9.30, hit okay, hit next, and then I'll submit the ads, make sure they're good to go, and then fingers crossed that we start getting sales, hopefully by the end of today, but time will tell. So I'm gonna click submit and I will update you guys. All right, it's now May 15th, which is a Monday. This store has been running on its own for a few days. I've just let the ads run. Honestly, I was busy yesterday, it was Mother's Day. And the day prior, I was checking out our ad account for this exact store for these Dino Snuggy pillows and we were getting amazing metrics. So I have the ad account pulled up. And as you can see on this first day that we tested, we were getting 20 cent cost per clicks, which is really cheap, especially because I quickly downloaded some videos, edited them on CapCut and that was it. And our CPMs were $4.44. So for every thousand impressions, that's all it costed me. It was really cheap ads. We got 180 clicks onto our website. The only downside is TikTok is saying he got zero conversions, but was that actually true for this day yes it was we got a total uh, on Shopify it's saying 193 sessions we got three add to carts one reach checkouts but zero people purchased our little pillows which sucked it was day one and then for the ads I spent a total of $36 so that was $36 down the drain I didn't get a single sale that kind of sucked but the thing with TikTok is we've been letting our ads run at least two days sometimes three days before we make any crazy judgment and so I let the ads spend another day just to see if I could get any sales I put in a few hours of work into the store I wanted to try my best to get some sales in that way I could make a little bit of money and see if this product is viable. And day two, I actually didn't do as bad as I thought I was going to do. All right, for day two, I spent the total of $50 on that whole campaign, spent the whole budget. My CPC, which is cost per click, went up. It was 44 cents. My CPMs went to $10. So everything basically doubled and then some more. And I got a total of only 113 clicks. I spent more money, but got less clicks. But I did get one conversion tracked on TikTok. Now that isn't exactly true if you come on to Shopify we can go ahead and check what yesterday's results were and as you can see we got a total of two sessions converted into purchases we had a 1.9% conversion rate which is not bad it's not bad by any means now the reason the average order value is $25 but we only got two sales and it's $72 uh, total sales that's because I charge shipping so a lot of people are scared to charge shipping I personally will charge it on a lot of our stores so I charge seven to I think eleven or $12 on this store for shipping. I just wanted to see how it would perform. And it honestly, it didn't do bad. Maybe I could have gotten more sales if I didn't charge shipping. So that's something I could tweak. But like, this is pretty much how you start a dropshipping store. I'm not going to keep running this just because I don't really know if the product would work well at scale. It probably could, like if I'm being completely honest. But for now, I wanted to show you guys like that's how you dropship. This is the beginning of starting a store and testing a product and seeing if it's viable and if it's going to make you tons of money. So what I would personally do is I would split test shipping costs. I would split test the product costs. I would also rearrange the landing page and see if I could make improvements to it because this is what it looks like right now. It looks pretty decent, but I guess there probably could be some things to adjust and change up. All right, I'm going to run the numbers now just so you guys can know exactly how much I made or lost. So let's do 71.98 for sales and then let's times that by uh, 0.97 for transaction fees. So we've got $69 and 82 cents coming into our bank account. So that's good. But then let's subtract the $50 from yesterday's ads. And then I believe we spent, let's see, uh, we spent $36. So then let's subtract $36 and 24 cents and then $6 for each product minus 12. So we lost a total of oh, plus a domain. I guess we could subtract. I think that was like 15 bucks. We lost a total of $43. So it didn't even cost me $50 total to test this whole product out and to see if it was a viable product. There's the, the calculations right now, the breakdown minus 43 bucks. So you risk $43 testing out a product to see if it's going to perform well or not. I don't think that's bad at all. So would I recommend you selling this product? Maybe Maybe it's a cool one. Would I recommend you testing it out, but also testing other products and figuring it out yourself 100%. And if you need extra help with dropshipping, I will have a link below for a completely free live training that I host every other week. So click below to see when the next one is, because that's where I go over a lot of in-depth strategies as well. If you'd like to learn, be my guest. Again, it's free to join.